Hello everyone, once again this is Joe Kenyu and welcome to Top 10 with Joe. Now the world is made of moments, happy moments, sad moments and I'm sure we've all had our fair share of bumpy and smooth moments. Today, we are going to talk about the top 10 glorious moments that have made us proud as a country. Moments that have made us come together as a nation. You know, the proud, the honoring, emotional, with a gunyerere kind of feeling that makes you feel that the world should just pause for a second so that you can enjoy the moments? That's what we are talking about. Competitions are usually quite tricky and challenging, and especially international reality TV shows. But this girl, with her confidence and her beautiful golden voice, made us very proud by not only blowing the minds of the judges with her powerful vocals, but by also getting a golden buzzer. Sarah Ikumu qualified straight to the finals of Britain's Got Talent, and she was only 16. Now for those of you who don't know what a golden buzzer is, eh? you see where the judges usually sit. There is this kanini that when you nini kuna kunezi manini wa zina... Zina nini? Zina... Ah, wait, just tell them what a golden buzzer is. It is not quite often that we get powerful, important visitors coming to visit this beautiful country of ours. For the very first time, a sitting president from the US of A came back to Shags to visit his grandma in Kogalo. Well, apart from the tight security, the crazy traffic, I am sure I am not the only one who feels this was a proud moment for this beautiful country of ours. Dennis the Menace Oliech. Now, this guy, in a very tense match, at a very crucial moment, he scored. Ah, I can't even explain the feeling. The whole stadium was electrified. And that particular goal got us into the African Cup of Nations after drought. Yes, you how many years? Ever since 2007-2008, elections in this country have always been approached with a lot of tension. But this guy, hey, he made it easy for us. Keep calm and enjoy your Gedheri. Gedheri, man, you guy, you made it to the international news just for queuing and enjoying your Gedheri. And when Kenyans want to spend avocado, avocado, avocado per Kenyan yuko. And when Kenyans want to spend avocado, I won't be surprised to queue an avocado man in 2022. Uh, there's also now an unexpected <clears throat> hero of the hour. Yes, very much so. As often happens with social media, one particular man uh, queuing to cast his vote has caught the imagination of people across Kenya. And as this headline says, um, it, it's kind of despite the tension and in some ways has been a welcome diversion for people. Um, you'll see if I scroll down that he's actually got his uh, dinner or his lunch, I'm not sure which, in a plastic bag there. And that's a, a, a meal called githeri, uh, which is made of maize and beans, a very simple dinner. Um, and people have really taken him to heart. There are tens of thousands of tweets with the hashtag githeri man um, this gentleman says this guy is the undisputed winner of this election everyone has observed he enjoyed his githeri in a free and fair and transparent bag um, and there have been lots and lots of images shared uh, online where kenyans have got very creative indeed here he is doing hotline bling uh, the drake song uh, with of course the githeri bag in hand um, accompanying the US president out of the helicopter in this uh, meme and this one too. I think this is my favorite, just because it looks so seamless. Um, Githeri Man went to the USA to meet Kim Kardashian and there he is strolling down the street hand in with hand his bag. with the celebrity and his bag, of course, <laughs> of the maize and beans. For six, 
athletics is one of the major factors that has brought a lot of popularity to this beautiful country of ours. This one is a bit tough because we have very many athletes who've made us proud over the years. Talk of Akina Yego, Akina Catherine Dereba, but this particular guy stands out for me. This guy smashed the 800 meters world record and that record remains unbroken till today. I am talking about Ule Jamawa Fiatu Fiyako Finafiongara, the great David Rudisha. Kaki is doing his best to hold on, but they, none of them are good enough to hold on to Rudisha. Aman is now into second, Kaki is back into fourth. What's the time at 600? Wow, 1.14.30. We have something very, very special on here as uh, Amos, the other junior now, comes into second, ahead of our man. But it's Rudisha coming into home straight. We're going to be looking at the time very closely on this one. A brilliant run by the youngster Amos as he comes into second place. The other youngster, Keaton, is in third place now. Then a man, the three youngsters, with uh, Solomon finishing. But Rudisha, what's the time? It's a world record! A world record here in London at the Olympic Games from the greatest middle distance runner we've seen for a very long time. It's David Rudisha. 140.91 is shown on the clock. After the tightly contested presidential race, the unexpected happened. The handshake that gave all Kenyans a sigh of relief. It was a very proud moment when the two leaders came together and buried their hatchet for the sake of this country. And after that, this country became a country of handshakes. Eh? The real Hakuna Matata nation. You just solve it with a handshake. At number four is our well-abled boys, very strong-willed and determined. Mbaka waleo si lewa, how we beat Fiji 30. 30! <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Rugby Sevens boys. Leading the boys into that final in 2016 was the biggest achievement that I can say as a player. Something that came as a dream, we never expected it to happen. This is going to be the dream start for Kenya. The try scoring wizard in Jira. And on they'll come Kenya, rumbling. The underdogs are serving it up. We were about to lead at 20 nil by halftime. The crucial score came from Nelson Oyo. Oh, you go, he's the leg. He's got wheels for days. So we kept on digging deep and we kept on playing very hard and we kept our defense. At the end of the day, we were able to seal the game and Fiji were not able to come back. We're going to get another one for Kenya. It has taken them 114 tournaments to enjoy this moment. Kenya, congratulations. That was just awesome. It has taken generations from my country to be able to get the first trophy. It's a feeling we had never had as a team. It's something we have always dreamed of. We danced all night. We danced from the ground just to celebrate. And it's something we are going to carry forever in our hearts. <laughs> This one became everyone's darling when she won the most prestigious award any actor or actress dreams of winning. Actually, there are very many actors and actresses who are more experienced than her, but have never won an Oscar. I am talking about the daughter of Kenya's recross of politics, Lupita Nyong'o. He laugh for her speech. That thing was inspiring and it went viral. And the Oscar goes to Lupita Nyong'o. the invisible performer in the editing room, thank you. Sean Bobbitt, Kala Davy, Adrutha, Patty Norris, thank you, thank you, thank you. I could not be here without your work. I want to thank my family uh, for your training <laughs> and the Yale School of Drama as well for your training. Uh, my friends, the Wilsons, this one's for you. My, my brother, Junior, sitting by my side. Thank you so much. You're my best friend and Ben, my other best friend, my chosen family. 
When I look down at this golden statue, may it remind me and every little child that no matter where you're from, your dreams are valid. Thank you. Our number two guy made us very proud by not only winning the 2014 Chicago Marathon, but he also won the 2015 Berlin Marathon, 2016 London Marathon, 2017 Berlin Marathon, and 2018 London Marathon. This guy was declared the world's greatest marathoner ever, and he went ahead to win the Exceptional Achievement Award. Ladies and gentlemen, at number two, Eliud Kipchoge. Our number one is a lady who is very special and dear to most of us. A mother who passionately cared and fought for the environment in this country. I still admire the courage and strength she had to face the who's who in this country to protect our parks and our forests. The very first Kenyan to join the greats of Akina, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi, to win a Nobel Peace Prize. Ladies and gentlemen, the late Professor Wangari Mathai. Wangari Mathai's devotion to the cause of saving the forests of Kenya led to death threats, whippings and beatings. But in 2004, her work was rewarded when she became the first African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has honoured people who promoted human rights. But in the year 2004, they wanted to make another shift to draw attention to the fact that the time has come for us to rethink peace and security, to appreciate that for us to live in peace with each other, it is necessary for us to manage the limited resources we have on this planet responsibly, accountably, and that it is very important for us to share these resources more equitably. Because if we do not do that, we promote causes of conflict. If we look around the world today, we will see that many wars, I don't care where, whether it is within the borders or outside, local or global or regional, all these wars are being fought over resources whether it is oil, diamonds, land, drinking water, they are all conflicts of communities, of clans, of nations fighting to compete over limited resources. And so the Norwegian Nobel Committee was saying the time has come for us as a human family to shift to recognize that perhaps the guns and the bullets are not the ones that are threatening our peace and security, but rather the way we are managing our resources, the way we are wasting them, the way we are distributing them very unfairly and very unjustly, both at home and abroad. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was our top 10 glorious moments. If you like our moments, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, well, still give us a thumbs up. And as usual, if you feel there's anything we've missed, please feel free to comment up Pochini and share and subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>